picture and wondering what I'm doing. <laughs> Crazy lady filling up these throwaway containers, well, recyclable containers. We're going to upcycle them, is what my grandson says. I saw this wall and I thought, wouldn't it be really cool if I planted some purple and green sweet peas coming over the more shaded area? I'm doing it just for the flowers and stuff, and they're tasty. But in the summer, they die back. Here, they'll go maybe through July, and then they'll die back. By that time, I'll have another set to go in. It'll cover this. And then, on this side, and I might add one more container where it's really sunny, I'm gonna put the cucumbers from the neighbors, and it's gonna cascade over. So this whole stone wall going around the tree is going to be a living stone tree. But it's a great idea. Just make sure you fertilize because they are in containers. It is protected from the sun. I use Stay Green because it has nine months of fertilizer in it. But I still add some. Nature's Care, which is a miracle grow. You want organic when it's um, growing vegetables that you're gonna eat. I put that in because we water a lot because it's hot, and this will just add some extra oomph, especially to get them going. Um, and then I'll feed them, well, depending on the weather, every couple weeks. But let me show you a picture of it, but I thought it was a great ideal. The next ideal is pretty interesting too. Have a great day. Please subscribe and like and try this. Let me see your pictures. Hey, just a quick thing. I ran over and got the um, cucumber and watermelon and squash from the neighbors. They're the ones that always send the pictures of the cute kids that I post. This is what a from seed plant should look like. All the roots, it's healthy. I mean, they did a great job. And this is the first time ever. So this is inspiring for others. Great job.